Hello friends. So in today's session, I'm going to explain you like how to increase and decrease memory and CPU on a uh, vCenter level, like on a console level. Okay. So let me log into my console here. Okay. Okay. So you can see I already lo I'm now logged in on my console. Okay. In my case, you can see I have only one virtual machine. Okay. One, only one VM. Okay. But suppose in your case, if you have multiple VMs, in that case, what you have to do, you have to copy that VM, go to the search box here and paste it to your VM name. And once you paste it, then in drop down you can select your VM. Okay, which on which VM VM you going to increase and decrease the CPU and memory. Once you select the VM, okay, like this. Okay, like this. Okay, so then what you have to do, you can go to this edit option here, or else what you have to do, you can right mouse click here and go to the edit setting. Both options are same. Okay, both options are same. But before you going to start this activity, okay, make sure your VM like virtual machine is a power off. Okay, like suppose if you on your VM uh, virtual machine application and database running, you should have to stop your application and database and then you power off the VM and then you do this activity. Okay, that is the first priority. Okay, so in my case, I all uh, uh, you can see it's a power off this VM. So let me uh, right mouse click here and go to the edit setting. Okay, so now you can see here two options are showing that one is a CPU, one is a memory. Suppose if you increase the CPU, so you have to in drop down, you can select here. Okay, in this is the for test uh, uh, lab, test uh, environment setup here. So that's why uh, this value is only one, two is showing because there only uh, like, you know, few resources I assigned to my AXI host. So that's why, but in your, like suppose if you're working in any organization, that the resource count will be high, right? So you can select the uh, like multiple uh, CPU. Okay, fine. So as of now, I'm not going to uh, change anything here, but in this way you can change. Like suppose if you increase the CPU, you can increase from here. And if you want to decrease, you can decrease. Okay, so let me change the value one here only. Fine. In the same way, in a memory, you can see here. Okay, so like, as of now, you can see it's uh, like uh, MB is assigned. Okay, suppose if you want to assign the GB, like so, then you have to select here GB, and that uh, how much GB you want to uh, assign. Like you want to, like you have to calculate, like as per the application requirement or as per the DBA requirement. Then the, according to that, you have to assign that much uh, GB. Okay, so like uh, then, like suppose if you want to like assign the 64 GB and 32 GB, like that, uh, whatever the application rec uh, team requirement, according to do, according to that, you can just assign that. Uh, you can select the GB here and then you can give the value. Okay, for in my case, I'm not going to change anything in the GB. So, but let me uh, show you for the like uh, for the testing purpose. I just want to change here like. Uh, like I, I'm just giving the one GB here. Okay, let me give here GB and give one. Okay, let me, that is invalid. So let me close this one. Okay, once you assign this one, then you just want to click on the save option here. Once you save, then you power on the system. Okay, so let me power. Give me allow me some time. So the system is booting here. You can see. So let me open the console here. Okay, but this this is a way uh, like you can uh, do the uh, you know like uh, this activity. You can increase and decrease both. You can do in uh, this way. Like uh, if you want to uh, increase the CPU or memory, so in uh, this way you have to do. But make sure your system is a power off. Your application and uh, your database is a shut down, like a stop. Okay, and then you do this activity, and then you stop your VM. And then you do, do this activity. Yeah, you can see now my system is booted now. Like, uh, let me log into the system here. Okay. Okay, let me check free hyphen M. So you can see 991 is it like one around one GB that uh, memory is showing now. Okay. So I hope uh, you like this video. So uh, if you like, it's thinking this video is a helpful 
for you guys please uh, support us so like subscribe share and comment thanks for your watching